Let's come to this chemistry very quickly. We are going to use this to answer a lot of other questions. An element used in the production of, of matches is nitrogen, aluminum, copper, sulfur. Which of the following? Now let me tell you, in the production of matches, these are the, these are the substances. Potassium trisochloride 5, you use this. You also use um, ion 3 oxide. We also use manganese 4 oxide. Manganese 4 oxide. And we also use what? Sulfur. We use these, all these uh, substances in production of what? Matches. So the answer is this. The answer is this. Okay. A mixture of petrol. And we also here, we also use what? Zinc oxide as well. So you can, these are put together. You can use them in producing matches. So a mixture of petrol and water can be separated through what? What is, what is method of separation? Now, petrol and water are immiscible liquids. Immiscible. So the two liquids that cannot mix, you separate them by use of what? Use of separating funnel. Centrifugation is used in separating particles in blood. This centrifugation. The answer to this is this. Use of, so this one is to separate particles in blood. Distillation is to is used in separating two miscible liquids. That is two liquids that can mix. But if they are of close boiling points, we use what we call fractional distillation. Fractional. Fractional. So we talk of distilled water. That is distillation. But if like a mixture of uh, water and ethanol that have close boiling points, we use fractional distillation. Now, the use of filter paper is just uh, when you have, just like when you perform an experiment, you have a solid and a liquid. So when you use filter paper, when you use, bring it here, bring it here, so let me show them. When you use filter paper like this, so when you filter, here, what you have here is called residue. So the solid after filtration that remains on the filter paper is residue. Then what this, the liquid component of it here, this thing that remains here is called filtrate. Filtrate, residue, filtrate. So that is for this very one. Now, a good drying agent. Let me clean the board. Let me clean this board here. Very quickly because we're using this piece. Now, a good drying agent should be a deliquescent, hygroscopic, efflorescent, and effervescent. Now, deliquescent in this, a substance absorbs moisture, absorbs moisture. Eh? and dissolves in it it absorbs the substance will absorb and dissolve in it but hygroscopic will absorb but will not dissolve in it so a good hydrogen agent should be what hygroscopic efflorescence is when the substance loses all or part of its water of crystallization let me show it here so if you have something like this 10 h2o then if part of this water, this is water of crystallization, the water with which this thought comes out. If this water goes, and you may have something like this, dot H2O. Yeah, it has lost nine. This is efflorescence. Efflorescence. Now, effervescence is what we normally observe in the laboratory. We we'll normally observe it when you like, let me use this instance. When you put calcium trisocarbonate for, react it with an acid, HCl. So if we put CaCO3 here, put HCl, effervescence will occur. Shh. And odorless and colorless gas, which is CO2, is evolved. So if you read this, CO2 is evolved. This CO2, CO2, as a gas, turns lime, water, milky. Milky. This is an odorless and colorless gas. So if you want to confirm it, pass it through lime water. Eh? This is lake lime, as I said the other day. This is quick lime. Calcium oxide, quick lime, slick lime. So it turns lime water milky. Lime water milky. That's all right. So let's clean the board and keep using this part. We are very, we are trying to be very fast because of our time. All right. So I hope you are, you are getting all these. So how many electrons are in L shell of this is phosphorus? So we have question mark here. Bring it here. We have 31, 15 phosphorus. So when you talk of electrons, you don't look at this mass number, you look at something like this. This atomic number represents number of protons because it is, there's no charge here. There's no charge here, which means the number of electro, uh, proton here is equal to what? Number of electrons. Therefore, this is 15. So electron, number of electrons 
electron times 15 electrons so for us to now get L cell we need to configure this thing using duplet and octet configuration 2H configuration so 15 is first one field second one field and the third one check our last video in chemistry with the periodic table 2H5 so this is K shell L shell M shell so if they are asked you next time how many electrons does it have in M shell 5 L shell 8 K shell 2 so anyone you are asked, this one says L shell, the answer is what? 8 electrons. If it is M shell, 5 electrons. If you have something like this, 12, 6 carbon. So you have 2 and 4, which means it has only 2 shells, K and L. So 4 electrons, right? So this is for this very one. Now we'll move to this next one, number 5, very quickly, in less than 20 minutes. Okay, which of the following is an alkaline gas? This is a base, this is an alkali, but it's a solution. Aqueous, aqueous, aqueous. All these are, this is a gas. And this is an alkaline gas. It turns uh, red lit most paper blue. No, it turns red lit most paper blue. And this has characteristics. It smells like uh, urine, ammonia. It smells like urine. So, uh, for now, this is the alkaline gas we have. Now, increase in entropy. Ammonia is there. So increase in entropy can best be can best be increase in entropy can best be illustrated by entropy is defined as degree of what disorderliness disorder orderliness and randomness of a substance. So gases have highest entropy highest entropy. Uh, liquids have a uh, very medium right. Solid have least or no entropy. So now the mixing of gases, there's high entropy. Freezing of water, which means it turns from liquid to solid, so it's low. Now condensation of water, it, it water evaporates and condenses and forms in the cloud, so it is not solidifying of candle wax. Candle wax solidifying, which means from liquid to solid. So the answer here is what this. And we may talk. Of, we have talked of enthalpy, right? Enthalpy. Enthalpy, any time you talk of enthalpy, enthalpy means what? Change in what? Heat. That is, enthalpy change is what? Heat of product minus heat of reactants. Enthalpy. Then free energy is energy available. There are many other ones. Please go and read them. And I wish you good luck in all the exams. Mr. Primo says you will surely make it.